Elan Grappel Affair The Elan Grappel Affair was an alleged Israeli espionage incident in Egypt involving dual U.S.-Israeli citizen Elan Grappel. On 12 June 2011, Egyptian authorities arrested Grappel on charges of fomenting unrest in Egypt as a Mossad agent in the wake of the 2011 Egyptian Revolution. While Israel and Grappel's friends and family firmly rejected the charges, the Egyptian government provided evidence to support its claim. On October 25, 2011, Israel and Egypt agreed on the release of Grappel in exchange for 25 Egyptian prisoners held in Israeli jails. The exchange was executed on October 27, 2011, bringing an end to Grappel's nearly five months of imprisonment, arrest and charges. Elan Grappel, a 27-year-old man born in Queens with dual American and Israeli nationality, was arrested on 12 June 2011 by Egyptian authorities, who claimed that Grappel was sent to Egypt by Mossad to build a team that had been trying to gather information and data and to monitor the events of the 2011 Egyptian revolution. The authorities also claimed that Grappel tried to incite violence amongst Egyptian protesters with the goal of sparking a face-off with the military and spread chaos in the Egypt. Friends and family of Grappel, as well as the Israeli government, adamantly rejected the espionage charges against Grappel and denied he had any connections to the Mossad. At the time of his arrest, Grappel was a rising third-year student at the Emory University School of Law. Grappel's friends and family said he went to Egypt for the summer to intern at St. Andrew's Refugee Services a non-government legal group that helps resettles refugees. Grappel had a long-time interest in Islam and the Middle East. He is trilingual, speaking English, Hebrew, and Arabic. The Egyptian government gave evidence to support its claims against Grappel, and even in Egypt. The arrest was widely ridiculed. In early October 2011, with reports increasingly indicating that Grappel would be released shortly, a senior Egyptian official admitted that Grappel was a spy according to the London-based newspaper Al Hayat. The source stated, what Grappel did during the revolution did not amount to spying and by this logic, he can be released in exchange for financial benefits. Biography Elan Grappel is a dual U.S.-Israeli citizen, originally from Queens, New York. In 2005, Grappel graduated from Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore, Maryland with a bachelor's degree in international studies. He then moved to Israel and performed compulsory military service in Israel. During his service, he was wounded in the 2006 Lebanon War. Grappel later returned to U.S. for law school, enrolling in Emory University in Atlanta, Georgia. His mother, Irene, said her son always wanted to do good for the world and went to Egypt to perform legal aid as part of this commitment. She added, Elan is a young man who wanted to see all sides of every issue. In the summer of 2002, Grappel interned in the Queen's Office of Democratic Congressman Gary Ackerman, who has lobbied for his release. Prisoner Exchange Deal Following the successful execution of the first phase of the Jalad Shalit Prisoner Exchange on October 18, 2011, with the support of Egyptian mediators, Israel and Egypt came to an agreement on the release of Grappel in exchange for 25 Egyptian prisoners. On October 25, 2011, Israel's security cabinet unanimously approved the prisoner swap, clearing the way for Grappel to be released to Israel on October 27. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu thanked the U.S. for helping achieving the Grappel deal. The Israeli government stated that none of the Egyptian prisoners to be released are security prisoners. On October 27, 2011, Egyptian authorities released Grappel, and he arrived in Israel on a private jet. The same day, Israel sent 
the 25 Egyptian prisoners into Egypt through the Taba border crossing. Implications The arrest of Grappel sparked fears in Israel that relations with Egypt would sour after the fall of longtime Egyptian ruler Hosni Mubarak. Yaroslav Trofimov of the Wall Street Journal asserted that the arrest of Grappel and other Westerners in the aftermath of the 2011 Egyptian revolution was part of a military-inspired xenophobia campaign to distance Egypt's new military rulers from the West, portraying pro-democracy activists as spies and saboteurs, blaming the country's economic crisis and sectarian strife on foreign infiltrators and blasting the U.S. for funding agents of change. He wrote, as a result, connections with the U.S. and other Western countries have turned toxic just as the largest Arab country is struggling with a rocky transition to democracy. The detention of Grappel served to aggravate U.S.-Egyptian relations. Hose Ganner, founder and executive director of Israel's International Policy Institute for Counterterrorism, ICT, said that it has always been dangerous for Israeli citizens to visit Arab countries, but it is unlikely for Arab states to adopt the arrest of Israelis as a tactic to extort Israel. Ganner stated that the Grappel affair was designed to satisfy the Egyptian masses and was a stage-managed incident meant to use the traditional rival Israel to distract Egyptians from their real problems. Eli Carmen, a senior researcher at ICT, added that Egypt has a record of arresting innocent Israelis, such as Azam Azam, and Outa Tarabin, and framing them as spies to prove to its anti-Israel public it is looking after state security.